Good morning, I'm Bonnie Matthews. It's 725 and 68 degrees in Grand Junction. Every Friday, watch News 8 this morning at 645 for Cafe Chat, where we take our cameras out into the Grand Valley. So once again, be very careful if you plan on doing anything up on the slopes for the next couple days because you got a real good shot of getting sunburned. Take that sunscreen with you and come on out here tonight at C.D. Smith Company until 7 o'clock. Lots of munchies and drinks. Lots of fun. Okay, Bonnie, thanks for that update. Mrs. Dixon picked up about a dozen of the publications in her Fruitvale neighborhood near this church off E and a Half Road. There was a newspaper at almost every house on her block, with the exception of one neighbor, and that neighbor happens to be black. From Western Colorado's News Source. Good morning, I'm Bonnie Matthews. It's 645 and 68 degrees in Grand Junction. You can look for partly sunny skies today with a chance of thunderstorms, mainly in the higher terrain. Highs will be near 95 degrees. We'll have more weather coming up, but first, here's a look at what's happening. In Montrose, also partly cloudy conditions, temperature of 50 degrees, and winds are calm. Taking a look at our regional satellite map, you can see some of the cloud cover that is heading our way. Right now, it's just a little bit of high, thin cloud cover, but that's probably going to increase as the day progresses. What's causing it is a little bit of a storm system coming in from the Gulf, bringing lots of moisture into our area and causing cloud cover. Right now, they're getting a little bit more cloud cover in the east, but we will get some here later on in the west. You are watching KJCT, Western Colorado's news source. Now, KJCT News 8 this morning. Good morning, I'm Bonnie Matthews. It's 645 and 46 degrees in Grand Junction. You can look for cloudy skies today and breezy conditions with a slight chance of showers. Highs will be in the low 60s. We'll have more weather coming up at first. Here's a look at what's happening. Pitkin County authorities have recovered the bodies of three men killed in a helicopter crash near Aspen. Yesterday was the first day authorities were able to reach the crash site. The accident happened last Thursday, but search efforts were delayed by blizzards and avalanche conditions. We do have some warm temperatures to continue throughout the day. We're going to see some temperatures in the 60s here in the West Central Valley. It's probably about 62 degrees, and in the northern portion of the state, we will see temperatures in the 50s. Low pressure will dominate the area once again tomorrow, which is going to continue to bring precipitation. Once again, we're going to see some rain throughout the rest of the week, as well as some snow showers in the higher terrain. We just have a few adverse driving conditions to report Rabbit Ears Pass, Red Mountain Pass, if you're Driving down any of those roads, make sure you have chains on your tires or adequate snow tires. Call 245-8800 to get the latest update on road conditions. And it is going to be nasty tonight if you plan on driving in the higher terrain at all. 55 to 65 throughout the rest of the west. Showers in the forecast. Snow advisories in effect once again from noon until probably tonight. Some of them until tomorrow morning. Temperatures today between 40 and 55 and in the east partly cloudy. 55 to 65 degree temperatures. On a lighter note, uh, Martel Daniels, uh, she was pregnant when she was shot. She had a baby girl today. And as far as we know, both mothers and daughter are doing fine. Reporting live from the Mesa County Courthouse, I'm Bonnie Matthews for KJCT News 8. Bonnie, what's going on? Chris, right now we're having a great time. The country western band, Western Pleasure, is gearing up for tonight's street dance, which started about 15 minutes ago and will extend to about 7.30 this evening. It's going to be another beautiful day in Grand Junction. Right now we do have clear skies. Temperature is already up to 41 degrees. Humidity is only 53%. Winds are out of the southeast at 11 miles per hour. Barometer is 30.13 and rising. Montrose is also reporting clear skies. Temperature 33 and winds are calm. Once again, high pressure is dominating most of the western portion of the United States, but you can see there is a system coming in from the great northwest, and it will probably be affecting us by late tomorrow afternoon. Just a little bit of high, thin cloud cover over the higher terrain. Otherwise, we're going to see mostly sunny skies and unusually warm temperatures for this time of year. That low pressure system and that frontal system will be heading our way by tomorrow, but you can see high pressure is still dominating the Four Corners area. By the time the system reaches our area, we could see some partly cloudy skies by late tomorrow afternoon, and by Friday, we do have a chance of precipitation Friday and Saturday, Sunday, it's going to clear up once again. Llama caddies, they don't take any electricity, any fuel, just a lot of water and a leash. I wonder what it costs to rent one of those. If well, I do, if I do rent one, you want to go for a ride on my llama with me? <laughs> I've never been asked that before. You should ride with us. I mean, why walk? <laughs> just get on the thing and take your clothes. Sounds like fun, Kurt. Yeah. We'll be right back.